Yo, what's up guys? We back with another video. And as y'all see in the title, man, we are doing an 85 overall team builder fantasy pack. Um no money spent. Like I said this year, I'm definitely not spending no money on this game at all. So pretty much we got all these cards just from playing, leveling up, and getting the packs from the field pass. Um, we did the set for an 82 to 83 overall for this, or TJ Edwards. <clears throat> and then I went out and bought Ada Hutchison, sniped him for 29k. Most of the 82s was going for like 33, so we ended up snagging them. But before we open this, I'm going to show you guys my team. And i seen Motag's video of this. So if y'all want to see who he chose, y'all go check out his video. But it kind of is going to help me make my decision. Uh, let's go to lineup. So offensively, at the skill positions, I feel like we don't need anybody. Uh, we got Drake London. I did his set. We got Odell for now. Um, when I rank up t two more times, I'll get D-Hop, which D-Hop is my guy. And Odell will finally be out of here because technically that's a Motet guy. And we don't like to use each other's players. So everybody you see on my team is people that I like. So you won't see them people on my tech team. And of course, we're both Falcons fans, so we'll have the same Falcons on the team. Um, so, and then we need a tight end. But Pat, he's been holding it down for now, so we're going to keep him around. Defensively, we could use a middle linebacker for sure. Could use a free safety. And that's about it. Everything else is pretty solid. Got Reggie White, Javon Curse, Nolan, Trayvon. Shout out to the Bulldogs. That was a beast for us. So now let's go take a look at this pack. So looking at the offensive line, the only thing we need is a left guard. So if we see one in there that's a huge upgrade, probably going to go with the free offensive line. And then I'll spend my coins on skill positions. Alright, so right tackle, so we're just going to go ahead and go through these guys, I don't want to show you all the animation for each player, so first is the right tackle, Jalon Moore, just curious how he stacks up against Trevor, or Tevin, my bad, um, not bad actually, but it's not worth uh, moving on from Tevin. And we're not going to look at everybody, but just the positions. Maybe Kyler Gordon is a nice dude. Jay. Naheem Hines. I love Naheem Hines, but I don't have a spot for him on this team right now. Grant Dale Pitt. I like him. Don't have a spot for him, though. This man here, Barry, blowing him out the water. But that speed, I wish I can compare him to, oh, I can't, Eddie Jackson. That's the only way I would pick him if I put him at free safety. And he's blowing this man out the water. So that might be, might be an option, I don't know. Um, Ulysses Gilbert III, I used to have this man in a couple franchises. He was pretty much for, uh, fast. Um, this dude probably has the best picture out of all these cards, honestly. Um, Quiddy Pay. And I need a left guard. I don't need a right guard, so we don't need Nick. Dante Flower. Um, I don't need him, but he does get Falcons, Kim. The Kobe Dean. Another Georgia boy. Um, I would love to have him. But linebackers do not play like they 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 make them 
unathletic, even though they're good. But he got some good stats, though. 81 zone, 84 hit power, good block shed, good play rate, good tackle, good strength. Well, I ain't going to say good strength, but, but I don't see it ain't worth the upgrade right now. Uh, Mike Hughes, again, Falcons Kim. Um, haven't really watched Mike Hughes play at all, but we do not need no another corner. And he only has 75 zone, and I like to run zone a lot. He doesn't compare to any of them. This man don't even compare to DJ Turner. So, car's trash. May get him in the future when he's cheaper, just for account purposes. Um, Josh Renault, Josh Myers, LaVisca Chenault. Muta, Mute, I hope I'm saying that right. He just made a left go, all right. Strength is amazing. Awareness is good. Pass block is good. Pass block finesse is, or power is good. Finesse is trash. And then his run block is great. So this man might be the move. He's a left guard. Okay, yeah, I do need a left guard. Tutu Atway, I was a fan of him coming out of Louisville. Him and Malik uh, Cunningham. They played nice together. But they did this man wrong. Like, his speed should have been faster than 84. And he's a short guy, too. But I don't need a receiver, so we're not going to go with him. Uh, let's see. Welch. Calvin Throckmorton. Again, I don't need the right side. But just compare them. Dude, don't look bad, but I don't need the right side. I need the left side. Joey Blunt, everybody's using this dude. I don't want him. Um. Everybody's using this man. I'm not trying to use a card everybody uses. I want to discover people on my own. Um, Kendrick Green is a MoTeC guy. John Mechie came, <clears throat> excuse me, came from Alabama. Dude's a stud. So guys, I guess we're going with Motai. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But I believe he's the only left guard in this whole ex whole entire thing. Well, he's a left guard. That's Motai guy. So, yeah, we're going to go with this guy. Motai. And make sure our old line is good. So let's go ahead and put them in a lineup. Boom. And let's go. So now our old line is looking real good. Once they release some more, um, Team captain objectives. I can get this man Kevin upgraded and he'll be up here. So we got an 84, 85, 83, 85, 84. So our old line is looking nice. Um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to be it, though. And I do want to show y'all one more thing so y'all don't mess up. Um, let's go to the sets. And it's involving the AKAs. And they already put it on there. Good stuff. If y'all don't know, there's two different ones. You have a BND champion token exchange. But you need 34 tokens. But you you can pick any cards you want from it. But it is BND. You can't sell it. You can't auction it. That's the same thing. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. There's another one right here. Um, all you need is 20 of them, and you get an auctionable one, and it's a fantasy pack, and you can choose one of any release, a AKA Hero Players. Um, 
I would recommend doing the auctionable one. But when you get enough tokens to complete it, do not do the set until it's over. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to have it to where you can get the 20. And then they're going to release some heat. And that's why most people are probably going to do this one. But if you save your tokens until the end of the AKA promo, at least the first part. They always come out with an AKA part 2 later on in the year. But if you hold on and complete the set when they finish part 1, you'll get your best bang for your buck. So just keep that in mind, but it's up to you guys, whatever you want to do. If you want to hold on and do BND, that's cool. Or if you want to make some coins, you can go this route if you're no money spent. But that's going to end this one, guys. Um, if y'all like the video, just like it up. Um, if y'all want more content, subscribe. We're going to be on this thing. 2K comes out in about two weeks. I go on vacation a week after it comes out. So we're going to be on that heavy when it drops. So if y'all want to see my build, what I come up with and all that, man, make sure y'all subscribe. Um, trying to grind, man. Y'all know what it is. But I'll see y'all in the next one. PlayStation.